I am leaving our awesome Trader Joe's with the amazing waterfall and awesomeness and the fountain because I just went shopping because everybody is coming over for dinner on Sunday. Hi! We're now halfway, waiting for the cars to go. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Okay, sorry I didn't bring you guys in with me to Trader Joe's, but it was really, really, really packed. But I have to say, I don't know why I shop anywhere else. That place is amazing. And especially for Florida, the prices are the same here in Florida that there are in Louisville, which doesn't happen at any other store. So I guess their, their prices are just their prices nationwide. So here's my deal with Trader Joe's. Their produce cannot be beat, and the prices can't be beat. I mean, there's just, you can't it's impossible um their meat is very expensive <laughs> but it's worth it however they have those little nuremberg sausages that we get that i love and they're only like two dollars and change for the package of six and they are just delicious and no nitrates no citrates no preservatives no whatever so i always felt much better buying stuff from trader joe's um they have organic too it's not everything's organic but it's just a it's just a higher quality of food. I know there's no GMOs and stuff like that. So that's the way I, I kind of love it. But anyway, Cedars Mediterranean Cuisine. Ooh, that looks good. Coming down here to my favorite Publix. I'll just show you a little bit down here. There's the Panera. And here it is. Here's Publix. And this is right by, um, what's the name of that place we went to? Rocco's Tacos? Yeah, right down there. Again, especially after going to Rocco's Tacos and then going to Chewy's, it's not even in close to being worth it. Chewy's is so good, so inexpensive. The chips are free, and it's just awesome. But here's, yeah, the awesome Publix. I didn't get to vlog it before, so I'll just show you. Here's where it is. Going around the corner. Here is the super awesome Publix. I gotta kind of do this quickly in and out, so I'm gonna probably leave you guys in the car because it's. I got it. I got. Oh, we got Christmas stuff up already, along with the rest of it. This is a really cool Publix. I don't know if you can see it because it's super bright right now. So done at Publix, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a. I, oh wait, actually, I think the air conditioner is blowing on it, but. This is the area across from Publix, which is, it's just really nice. Now I'm stuck here behind this Garda uh, thing, but there's like a Thai restaurant over there, which I keep wanting to go to. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is the eye right over here, right there in the corner, but it is super sparkly and it doesn't look like, is it, it's like the light is reflecting off it, it looks beautiful. There's a whole food. And it's Okay. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can see this very well because it's going behind Cabana Bay right now, but there is a rainbow over Universal. What? Hang on a second. Let me get me outside of Cabana Bay. There it is. You can see it through the trees. Oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. Hang on. Hang on. Almost there. Oh, my gosh. Just keep looking through the trees. It's there. It's so pretty. I mean, it's prettier with my glasses on, but it's still pretty. All right. There is the rainbow again. Ah, every time I go to block it, it goes behind the trees. Oh, I'm so fresh. Okay, I just had to show you guys these. They are turkey and stuffing seasoned kettle chips. So I'm waiting until Josh gets up to have some of them. But here's some of our haul. Here's the other thing I was going to show you. Here's what I'm doing with this. This is fresh eucalyptus, which is actually, you can't eat it, only koalas can. But um, it was only $2.99 at Trader Joe's. And if you take fresh eucalyptus and tie it um, just on a string and hang it in the shower, um, eucalyptus has medicinal properties and has like antibacterial properties and just helps upper respiratory. So with Josh, is still coughing and sneezing from all the smoke and whatever. Um, so it's a really good thing to do. So there you go. There's your tip for the day. So here's our dinner for tonight. I'm making... Um, French onion soup, but this takes forever. It's just been cooking for like an hour now, but you just got to cook it really low and slow to get the caramelization. It just takes a really, really long time, and you can't force it because all the sugar's got to come out and whatever, but 
Anyway, in the meantime, I was also looking at what is amazing, like, I got four avocados. And for those of you guys who don't live in Florida, you don't understand. But usually these are like a dollar a piece. These four avocados were $2.49 at um, Trader Joe's. These beautiful baby San Marzanos, which by the way, these are the ones I was talking about, Mom. Um, they were $2.29 for this package of amazing fruit, and they're absolutely delicious. But you got to love Trader Joe's. It is so, so, so awesome. Oh, and here's my centerpiece with my new flowers I just got for three ninety nine at Trader Joe's. What? Because awesome. And this butternut squash, which I just use, I'm using them as centerpieces just because I, I still have them. But this butternut squash, which I will be using to make butternut squash soup with, um, was $1.99. They didn't do it by pound. It was just here it is, flat fee, which is awesome. I'm like, I'm telling you, love me some Trader Joe's. By the way, I was going to show you. Here is, there's the eucalyptus hanging in Josh's shower. So what happens is, I have got one of mine too, but when you take a shower, then the steam and whatever heats up and the oils release and it clears your lungs, which is really, really Okay, so I forgot to tell you the most awesome thing that happened today. So this morning I got a phone call from someone that said, have you been on Facebook? I was like, no. There was a like, go on Facebook. This is the Universal Orlando annual pass holder Facebook page of which I speak constantly because it's where how I met all my friends and how we all got together during in, during Halloween Horror Nights and whatever and how I got to do the family picture. This is Jessica Hale. She is the administrator of this page for Universal. So Jessica today posted this shout out which um, I apparently needed to explain to some of my um how do I put the elder people who are following me? Um, a shout out is just to say, hey, good on you, whatever, good job. So it says, I want to give a big shout out to Don Solomon for always having a positive attitude. The UOAP community is glad you're here. The UOAP being Universal Orlando Annual Pass Holder. That's what that stands for. Which is amazing. Which I was just like, what? Are you kidding me? But then there's all these replies that I've gotten all all day long. Um, except for that, <laughs> thanking me or saying, yay, good job, like, um, let's see, you know, yay, love Dawn, whatever, um, you know, woohoo for Dawn, um, way to go, Dawn, I mean, just so cool, so, so cool, so, it was just really, oh, look, there's such an album, um, anyway, it was just really cool, so, it was pretty awesome day, I have to say, and a big, humongous thank you to Jessica Hale and my Universal family for recognizing that and it just I really appreciate that. So that was a pretty awesome day. Okay, what I didn't show you, this actually goes down. There were more comments even that were hidden, but they these go all the way down here, which is really cool. Like, yay Dawn, you're great, yay Dawn. I always enjoy reading Dawn's post about the park. A well-deserved shout-out, Dawn. She's definitely awesome and involved here. Positive is an understatement from my friend Nick. Um, yeah, then, because where can we get the family photo shirt? <laughs> but anyway, it's just so cool. I'm like, this, I absolutely love. This is a girl that she's like, I have a picture like that with Jessica, but whatever. Anyway, so it was just really awesome. It totally made my day today. So, again, super awesome thanks to my amazing Universal family and Again, I gotta say, for those of you who don't get why I love Universal, this is why. You tell me what other theme park in the world has this kind of impact on their guests. And not even their guests, just their annual pass holders. and really shows them love like Universal does. I know I'm biased, but still. Oh, there's my phone. I forgot to show you. So here is our uh, French onion soup and salad. Our delicious, delicious dinner.